like you haven't slept all night. I almost killed the child last night. It was really nice of you to stop by. I think I always follow up with my patients. Well, um, the wound is doing much better today, thanks to you. Good. Okay, that sounded puny, I know. Look, I just, I really don't quite know how to tell you how grateful I am for the unquestioning way you helped me last night. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't minimize what you did. You not only saved Sam, but you saved me. By taking care of her, you helped us avoid going to any hospital. Yes. Well, I'm always happy to help. How's your sister? We spent time with the doctors, and she's not doing so good. I'm sorry. Yeah, Nicholas, he's there, and I'm going there as soon as I can make sure that Sam doesn't end up on last night's DEA report. That's good. So what's your next move on the counterfeit drug front? There is none. I'm sorry? We proved it last night. What? We're in over our heads. We're dropping this investigation. No, hold on a minute. I didn't get a scar for nothing, Lucky. This scar that I'm going to have is going to help prove to Carpub that I'm, I'm loyal and to help me get further into his organization. I'm not going to walk away from that. I went to Carpub's warehouse last night to, to get rid of him. Yeah. Did you have trouble getting in? No. Not trouble. I got into position. Took a little while to get a clear sight line. Carpa was pacing around. As Laura was there, she was getting in the way. Mm-hmm. And then I finally had my shot. And I was about to take it. When a little girl. She couldn't have been more than ten. Ran into Carpa's arms. Almost exactly like what happened to Michael. Wrong place, wrong time, innocent kid, and for what? Karpov and I agreed to live and let live for now. I can see how that would make you more comfortable in the short run, but down the road, this is a decision that could come back to haunt you. Would you excuse us? In case you've forgotten, my sister is having a nervous breakdown. My father is gone, all right? So I don't want to risk losing you. I realize that you feel like your life is spinning out of control right now and you're concerned about my safety, but I have my own concerns too. Namely, that people are getting sick and dying in hospitals because of the counterfeit drug ring that we can help bring down. And there are other ways to bust Carpa. So I'm asking you, give it up. That is not fair, and I can't. Do you guys want an objective opinion? Please. Go ahead. Step right in. It's obvious you guys really care about each other, and part of being in a successful relationship is having respect for each other's choices, whether you agree with them or not, and allowing the path they choose, no matter how afraid you are for someone. So I really hope you guys can do that, because from what I can see, you have a chance at being really good together, and it would be a shame to blow it out of stubbornness. And that's not directed at anyone in particular. That's it. Elizabeth, I'd appreciate it if you could just stick around and make sure Sam doesn't take off the minute I'm gone. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but did you not hear a word that she just said? Yeah, every single one. I just want Elizabeth to stick around and make sure that you're healing properly so you can go back to being undercover when you're at your best. I've seen bosses drunk on power, paranoia. You look at Zakara, Alcazar, now Karpov. A preemptive strike against guys like that is the first step down a bloody road that I don't want to take. Yeah, and I didn't mean to offer you bad advice. You didn't. Doesn't mean I'm going to take it, but I don't want you to stifle yourself, Bernie, because your opinion is valuable to me. Okay, so I can tell you what I'm thinking? Yes. All right. I've made inquiries. And um, Karpov always follows the same pattern when he's making an expansion. He moves in, he tells the locals he's just operating on the periphery, and then once he's established a base, he just takes out the competition. I mean, without compunction. It's only a matter of time before he uses that MO on you. My work in Europe is not going to work here. He's overextended. Yeah, come on. A successful takeover would not be realistic for, for months. Right. He is vulnerable now. 
and he may not be that vulnerable in say two months so looking at it from a purely business perspective now is the time for you to make you're saying move. this to me because that's what sonny would do so far so good ow there you go okay can i just say something this is really weird what is I mean, I don't know. We were not friends. And here I am feeling totally grateful to you. And not only for your awesome medical attention, but for what you just said to Lucky before. I think you really got through to him. I hope I didn't come off like the relationship police or anything. I just can see that you guys are good together, and I think you need a little time to figure it out. You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I guess call me if you need me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. Elizabeth. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, for everything. Don't stop believing in Lucky. He won't let you down. I've always been more comfortable taking orders than giving them. You know, let the son call the shots. If he wanted a preemptive strike, I carried it out. Uh, yeah, unless you disagreed, which happened more than once. Listen, I heard all those stories from when my brother worked here. Some pretty big decisions, choices that shaped this organization came about because you decided to go against the status quo. Yeah, but the burden was still on Sonny. If he was wrong, he would have taken the fall. Now it's all on me. Yeah. No, I, I understand the pressures that you're under. You, you were, you, you're responsible for the day-to-day uh, -day operation of a, of a very complex syndicate. But you're also responsible for the people who work for you. People who stand to lose everything. If Karpov takes over or if he decides to start a civil war, they'll become targets. And don't you think you owe it to the people who work with you to do what you can to protect them? You want to see me? Yeah, come here. Bernie says uh, a lot of good things about you. Yeah? Glad to hear it. Yeah, so I, I want to give you an additional assignment, one that utilizes more your particular skills. I'm listening. Go back to Shadow and Karpov. I want you to tell me where he goes, who he sees, and when he's most vulnerable. Mr. Morgan, I don't know if you remember me. My name I is I know Sonia. who you are, Karpov's attorney. Yeah. We're going to have to finish up later. I'm very happy to have this chance for a private conversation with you. About what? Mr. Karpov wanted me to reassure you. He means no disruption to you or your organization. He wants to coexist. Karpov already told me that. Why is he pushing so hard to convince me? Port Charles is Mr. Karpov's first expansion into the state, so naturally he wants it to go smoothly. He's already encountered one problem. His arrangement with Mr. Corinthos fell apart. So the last thing that Mr. Karpov wants is any tension with you. Tell Karpov he's got nothing to worry about. If he doesn't make a move against me, everything's going to be fine. Excuse me. Yeah. The last two shipments got off safely. Good. What about the partners? They can wait for the sit down at the playa, but they want to hear from you personally within the hour. All right. Uh, I'm in a meeting. I'll, I'll call them when I'm done. What's this? I don't always represent Mr. Karpov. Sometimes I represent my own. 